that tone, it's a real money in the room. Apparently, you don't consider yourself a part of the conscious community. Yes, sir. However, a lot of us, uh, what, what's the podcast called? Uh, Sarnetta. Sarnetta. A lot of us know you originally from being featured on Sarnetta's podcast. Yes, sir. I believe in New York, you know what I'm saying, with yes, sir. brothers from the conscious community, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, how, like, why don't you consider yourself a part of the conscious community? You know, what's your relationship with the conscious community uh, via brother Sarnetta? Yeah. The couch. I got a hell of a story for you, champion. But he tried to play me on a contract, and po brother Polite scammed me. I almost had to Brother Polite asked to get my money back. What? Oh yeah, I'm gonna have a story for you. So this is what happened. This is how I this is how the f I got involved with the conscious community. Now, once again, I want to reinstate. I'm a otness. I'm a otness. That's the Egyptian form of Buddhism. Most people are not aware of that. As I'm on my journey to reestablish Egypt as a global empire, so I just for for late in turn say I'm a Buddhist. Now I had like 30, 40 thousand subscribers on YouTube. And I did a lecture called, well, I did like a four-part series or something called the 76 Trillion Year History of the Black Race or something like that. It's actually still on my university now. So I never jumped in my comments and was like, hey, man, could you come give this presentation on my platform? Now, to me, at the time, I'm fresh out of prison. I don't know shit about this man like that. All I know is it's a lot of black seemingly educated people here. So to me, I felt like, well, perfect. It'd be the perfect opportunity for me to showcase who the fuck I am. You know what I'm saying? Right. So boom, he invited me to give the lecture. He invited me to get his presentation called The Bible is Based Off Astrology. Now, it was that. And then also I had a friend who I believe he's passed away now. His name is um, Authority. We go by Authority. His name was Robert Kirkland. He was a God body from Brooklyn, New York. Now, I met him in Wyoming. What's a God body? Like, like, how can I explain it? People that believe God is within they self, like basically like Wu-Tang Clan back in the day, God, body, arm, leg, leg, arm, head, peace, God, what's the science, what's the day's mathematics? You never heard all of that? No. Oh, five percenter. You ever heard of a five percenter? Yeah. Okay, that's a God body. Yeah, I know Christians also believe that God is within them and they are, you know. Yeah, it get, it get intricate. say he's a, he's right. a God. Yeah. So I met Robert Kirkland in Wyoming and when I got out of jail, um, I still held him down. So I was still sending him money, writing him, with him. And uh, that was my man. And I have to say this because it's a lot of crazy shit going on. No homo when I said that. That was my man. I mean, legitimate friend. Now, with that being said, he was up at age. I think he was like 65. I wouldn't be surprised to say if that man was about 70. Now, me and Robert got cool because, they, for one, they sat me right next to the man. And then for two, he was infatuated by how well I knew the law. Because I don't want to disrespect Robert Kirkland, but I was better than Robert Kirkland with the damn law. And this is somebody that's been in jail for 25 years. All he do is go to the law library. So he was intrigued about my skills of how intelligent I was. So uh, Butcher McCullough, we used to rock out. Now, the God bodies got what they call the 120, which is 120 lessons. And I memorized his whole shit in 37 days. So he was just intrigued by my, my intelligence and my ability to remember so when I got out of jail, I'm like, okay, uh, while I was in there, I used to be, you know, three-way in his family for him. I used to be calling his son, calling his peoples. Just imagine being 60-something years in jail. I mean, 60-something years old in jail. You've been here 20 years. Nobody, everybody forgot about you. Right. So I'm basically putting him back in contact with the outside world. Now, when I got out, he, they hit him at the board, but I still kept making sure he was straight. Now, he had asked me to go to... The school in Mecca, which in, in translation terms would be the five percent school in Brooklyn, in New York, and asked them why the f they don't be responding to his mail. And even when I was in there, I wrote to school and they didn't respond. So I'm like, cool. So I was already going to New York anyway for him to go to the school. So when Sinetta asked me to come out there, too, I'm like, cool, I could kill two birds with one stone. I go do this interview and I go to the school. So when I go to New York, I went to the school boop. Dub me. Nobody let me in. I don't know if they was there or not, but nobody let me in. They dubbed me. So I'm like, okay. And I just told Robert, like, it ain't even me. I don't know what you want me to tell you. It's, dead. it's a dead end. And then, boom, I went on um, the corner. I think it was 125th, and there's a video. I think I got my hat backwards. And uh, this is where I first met Seti at. And Seti, this is how me and Seti got cool. He was the only one that defended me. 
Now, if you see in the video, I'm talking about astral projection and chakras and just don't even talk about. And um, or didn't start talking about till now. Now, now, now that I opened the door, but I'm talking about these type of things, and you see all of these dudes out there basically trying to trying to heckle me and trying to play me like I'm crazy, like like I don't know what I'm talking about. And basically, that was a setup. So it's like he asked me to come out there to do an interview, but then when I came out there, you had like 15 on the corner ready to try to basically jump me. So, boom, from there. I go do the interview at Sinetter's spot the next day. It was another guy I ended up having to expose later down the line named Nature Boy. Nature Boy was there. Now, Nature Boy wasn't even supposed to be in the interview. So, like, when you see the Sinetter interview and he's sitting next to me, that was never even supposed to be in there. Uh, so, how did he get in your interview? Sinetter told you to come up. Okay. So, y'all never had a relationship prior to that? He was cool, but he came out. The same way everybody else came out because I told my fan base I was going to New York. Right. So he rocked out. He was cool. It's a video on my on my university. I think it's called the Black Old Menace God Live Radio where I'm sitting in the car. And I mean, I mean, he and the driver, his, his baby mom in the back and my baby mom in the back. And that's because we was all out to eat. Because what I used to do, what I used to do after my events, even I did an event down here in, in Dallas. After my events, we would all go out to eat or go to the movies or something. So, like, I just rock out with my fan base. I wouldn't just end my events. So, after I did that shit on the corner, we went to a restaurant out to eat. And I ended up getting on a radio interview, so I ran to the car. And I never even, I never even told that nigga to come in the car and record. It just came in the car, plopped the camera on, and started recording while I'm on the middle of a radio interview. But I said that to say, cool. So, I'm like, all right, whatever. You know what I'm saying? On some fan shit? Fan shit, but I, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't on it like that you know i wasn't on it like don't record i didn't care a lot of people record but i'm like you done left all the way out the restaurant eating with your or your baby mom whoever to come in in the private in my in my privacy moment i'm on i'm sitting in your car because i don't want to be in a restaurant to come record whatever but long story short so boom when i'm at sinetter joint sinetter asked me do i know him i'm like no i don't really know him like that he just gave me a ride he cool though he gucci <clears throat> and then sinetter was like yo do you want him to come up i'm like I'm not really with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing the interview. So Sinetter told him to come up. He ended up coming up, getting on the couch. And it's not, it's not clipped in there no more. But I remember when we went live, by the end of the live, because when Sinetter interviewed, when Sinetter edited his, uh, his interviews, he cut the back off. So, like, let's say we was doing this and this was live. At the end, he will let people call in and speak to the guests. But when he put it up, he cut that off. Why he cut that off, I don't know. That's just his style. But at the end, they was cussing Nature Boy out. They was like, yo, we young thrill, but we don't this. And then we on the, uh, so boom, when I get on the interview, uh, I do the joint. But then at the end, I told Sinetta, I'm like, listen, as I told you before I came down here, your right-hand man, his name is Brother Polite. He just scammed me for $500 when I first got out of jail. So that was another reason for me to go down there. So this was, this was, so you had um, gotten scammed from Brother Polite Before prior this to even you going invited to New York. Me. Right. Okay. But he never knew that. So it's like. So he, I never didn't know yeah, that. Yeah. So you accidentally invited your right hand man, one of his victims. But you never knew he scammed me. Because like I said, by the, Polite scammed me when I first got out of jail. By the time I, Sinetter called me, I had like 40,000 followers. Hey, real tone, there's some real money in the room. 